the walls become a way of communication. It's like your signature. Not everybody has the same signature. It could be anything from a tag on a telephone pole to, um, you know, a, something like this. It's a way of expressing one's social, political, economic condition. Vandalizing and, and uh, you know, painting or writing on a surface that's not permitted. Graffiti goes back what a ways, insofar as people wanting to express themselves back to the cavemen you know, and the cave woman. <laughs> And so there has always has been a need of expressing, bring it all the way up to the very present time. Uh, what I consider real graffiti is that of the political graffiti that one encounters, and especially in around Latin America, to begin with, that is my encounter. And of course, my encounter of graffiti here in the United States, here in Los Angeles and all, some of it is pretty bad, but nevertheless, there is some good. If someone asks me, what is graffiti? I usually tell them it's creating art without permission, you know, it's creating art um, on your own terms, you know, so uh, that's the beauty about graffiti art is that, you know, uh, you do it wherever and whenever you want to do it. Um, there's not a lot of rules around it. Um, so to me, that's the ultimate expression. Graffiti is a way of expressing one's social, political, economic conditions, their anger, their frustration at the uh, powers to be. And so it is a way of communicating since, as I mentioned before, that most of the masses do not have access to the radio, to the newspaper, to the television, in order to present their concerns. So the walls become a way of communication. since I was 12 and I'm 16 now so I guess four years four and I, I always loved watching it like seeing it in the streets I just always wondered like oh how they do that how they go up like on top of billboards and stuff just seeing ladders it's like I had it's like having a love affair with ladders I just love ladders I write graffiti I've been writing graffiti since uh, like about like five years ago I started and uh, this was like way back like in middle school or something and uh, yeah I was just like really interested like my uh, actually my cousin uh, does this as well his name's Price One and uh, he's actually uh, one of the Los Angeles uh, graffiti legends so I mean like I was really motivated by him and yeah you know, just like doing my own styles and you know I've been um, I've been doing graffiti since 1981 I'm a subway bomber so I've done everything under the sun, but my main focus has been my whole life uh, subways. Subways, freight trains, big things that move. First time I seen graffiti in the 80s, uh, I just started copying the letters and eventually I just started uh, doing my own thing. I started, you know, tagging on the buses and just, you know, just started like going out riding everywhere, you know, jumping on buildings and like rooftops and, um, you know, eventually, like over time, you know, I did it for a while, got caught, you know, got went through the system and, uh, you know, it kind of like turned me off to, to keep doing it. And I'm an artist and owner of Crew S Gallery here in downtown LA. Started doing graffiti in 1987 um, in high school and, um, I got into the graffiti art movement and been doing that for years, um, doing art in the streets and murals and stuff like that. Um, now I make a living. Um, it's my career. I, I paint for a living. I do corporate jobs and public art and, and fine art. <laughs> have permission or you don't have permission um, you know I don't get into the whole legal or illegal because um, there's things that I've done that I thought were legal ended up not being legal and there's things that I thought were illegal that ended up having no problems and 
being done like it's legal. Um, if you have permission, usually you have more time to create and, and become, you know, uh, just take your time with a piece of art. If it's illegal, sometimes you, you have to just get in and get out. That, of course, unfortunately, there is the graffiti that's just simply a vandalism. That has nothing to say, absolutely just 100% vandalism. Just taking on and painting whatever it may be on people's homes, uh, people's uh, stores, and, and uh, wherever, and it has nothing uh, to say. But, like, I wouldn't bomb on, like, somebody's house or their car. People, they work hard. My neighborhood, people work hard for what little bit they have, so I wouldn't want to destroy it. Tagging in like people's property and like you know vandalizing and stuff like that—that's that's really bad. You know, you shouldn't do it. But uh, you know, for people that do it, you know, it's good luck for them. Uh, it, I'm necessarily not saying that uh, it won't take them anywhere, but you know, it's just like they'll either end up dead or hurt or pretty much nowhere or in jail or in prison. Or, you know. Now the amount of business, the amount of factories, the amount of warehouses that face right along the railroad tracks, all that space, can you imagine a project that could be sponsored one way or another, I don't know by who, <laughs> whereas the cities, different cities, and of course the business themselves. Instead of just having the kids going out there and just putting something that says nothing, why not utilize that space, say artists, local artists, uh, Here's the walls. Do something that is decent, so that is artistic. From block to block, it don't stop till we see the cops moving to a back spot. Hip hop won't stop, pop block and break, maybe even skate. My name is Ricardo Guerrero, and I'm the social director for Pico Union Housing. I've always worked with the kids, the teenagers, the smaller kids. And um, I opened up the graph lab. I asked the boss if I can have 300 feet of space, of wall space in the back for a summer youth program because um, they had cut the, the art programs in the high schools and um, they had closed the Belmont Tunnels which is one of the spots where the kids in LA would go hang out and do their art. Kids all come here. I didn't see any reason for them to go to jail for doing art. Now if they're defacing private property I don't condone that but um, as far as them going to jail for doing that I just if I can prevent it you know, that's why I started the Graph Labs. I like this place. Uh, I never really heard of a spot that was like legal like this. And just being able to come here and not have to worry about like, oh man, I'm gonna get caught by the cops and stuff. Go here and produce something and really take your time and do something really nice versus like going out there and risking, risking yourself and you getting caught, you know, and then you're not, probably not going to do as good as a job if you had all that stress, you know, off your shoulders. Behind all the graffiti, you know, it is, there is a message, right? They just want to be known. It's their name. Be it gang graffiti, be it tagging, whatever. It's usually their name. And what does that mean? They want to be known. My biggest goal in graffiti is uh, just to get my name out there, you know? Just get well known. Uh, internationally, worldwide. I, I also want to get into the marketing kind of business where like, uh, you know, like uh, where I can get out there and like show my name because it's, it's tough out here in LA. My goals in life is to start my own like art, like, like an art store, have my sell art supplies, have galleries, uh, just be successful with art. And I came from doing graffiti, but that's not what I'm about anymore. You know, I'm an artist. It's not just spray paint that I do. I do chalk. You know, anything that I can get my hands on and try it and be good at it, spray paint's the one number one love. You know, as far as the medium. In order for you to make that transition to go from the streets to the gallery, it's something that you that you really you know have to want to do. It's not that easy, and it's not, a lot of artists haven't been able to make that transition, but at the same time, part of our purpose here at the gallery is to offer that opportunity and allow artists to, to venture into that, that space if they want to. In my mind, they're the modern masters. 